niggas say they on, but we ain't never heard of you. These niggas say they on, but we ain't never heard of you. What it do, ski son duelist? It's your boy, Fat Boy Five One Three, coming out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, this video is pretty much about my fucking Los Angeles Lakers. Yes, my Los Angeles Lakers. I just want to talk about the ass beating that they took last night, and and um, it and it's a shame that the team put no effort in at all into closing out the Denver Nuggets. Not saying the Denver Nuggets are some scrubs. Not saying they can't play, but you couldn't have told me that the Denver Nuggets would have kept up with the Los Angeles Lakers. I understand that you know they're younger, faster, blah blah blah. But they have no bigs that can actually stop the two bigs of the Los Angeles Lakers. But when you have two bigs who are, who are not really dominating like they're supposed to, mainly Pau Gasol. I don't know what the hell is going on with Pau Gasol the last two games, but it's just it just looked like he's not even interested no more. Because they're not double teaming him. They're letting him get the one-on-one -on -one play, and he's too big and too gifted. To just be getting overpowered pretty much by a rookie. You you feel me? Like, it, it's amazing. And, and Andrew Bynum, you know, okay, I understand a little bit because he's getting doubled a lot. But when he do get the ball, it's like he just be looking sloppy and wild. And it's like he don't dominate like he should. Don't get me wrong. JaVale McGee is, is tall or whatnot. And Mozgov, you know, he plays them pretty well. But, man, Bynum is just too damn big for them. He should be averaging at least 20-something in the game. And don't and a lot of people, don't give me that Kobe take a lot of shots and all that bullshit. I get so tired of hearing that shit. It, it, it really gets on my nerves for the simple fact that, like I always say, take Kobe Bryant off that team, and that team is nothing. they probably be a 7th, 8th seed the way they play because, I mean, they show no effort. If it wasn't for Kobe in Game 5, they wouldn't even have a chance to come back and win the game. And it's amazing how this man was sick for game six. six stomach hurting, whatever was going on. And this man put up 31 points. Play with effort. Diving for balls. Playing with effort. Wanting to win. Where you have the others that don't do shit. They played with no effort, no energy at all. Like, I was so pissed off. Like, like, it was just amazing because now they're just making this harder on themselves now. You could have, I did not know this was going to go seven games. I just didn't see it. I don't think nobody's seen it. I mean, I said Denver probably went two games, but that's it. Like, like it, it's just, uh, it's amazing. Then you got Andrew Bynum. The team in the huddle, and he just sitting on the bench, being immature again. Like, come on, man. <laughs> really? So now when Kobe made the comments about he know Ron Artest would commit and play hard every night, which I must agree. Because I, I tell you, you know, you know, guys, a lot of people may laugh at this, but I think if Ron Artest was in this series, it would have got wrapped up for the simple fact that this man plays defense. He may not score a lot, but in the last in, in April, he was doing good scoring. So I really feel that they need him. And that's why I think Game 7, the Los Angeles Lakers will win because of experience. And they're on their home court. And they just got their ass beat. And I'm pretty sure they do not want to get eliminated. I don't think Ty Lawson... Just put it like this. The Nuggets was just hot. The Nuggets was just hot. Ty Lawson, from the start of the game, there's a 13-0 run. Like, the, the Nuggets was just hot. Ty, Ty Lawson was torching them. The Denver Nuggets threes was falling. But I know damn well, game seven, Ty Lawson's not going to have no 28 points or 31, 30 points, whatever he had. Corey Brewer's not going to have 18 points. Like, it's not going to be one of them games where they're hot. You understand me? Because I feel like the Lakers, they will play with more energy. They would get it rolling, and they would get it over with and head to OKC. And it's crazy because that series is going to be wild. But I'm not even going to talk about that. We just got to hope and pray that my Lakers even get out the damn fucking first round. But I don't see Kobe Bryant letting this team get down. I'm pretty sure, like they said, he spoke to Pau Gasol after the game. If this pussy 
Don't step up next game. He need to be gone. I don't even care about them having two bigs no more. And if Bynum don't dominate like he can, then I don't know what need to happen. But something got to happen. They need they need shooters. They don't really have no shooters no more. They need somebody, some shooters. They need to step up, man up, and get this over with. Go to OKC and don't, you know, and, you know a lot of people say it probably maybe because they tired. Man, I don't want to hear that, man. <laughs> Like this dude on Facebook, me and him was arguing because Kobe shoot the ball. Bruh, Kobe was the only one playing yesterday. And like Shaq, Shaq said it best, when you're a big man and you get the ball, do something with it. Or ask for the ball. Act like you want the ball. Reposition yourself. Get back in the post. And don't just do no up and up and up dumb shit. You know how Bynum do. And play with some energy. Play with some effort. Get back on defense. Them two bigs was letting everybody come to the paint. Like, it was just it was just practice for the Denver Nuggets, pretty much. I mean, come on, man. The effort was just dead. Kobe Bryant was the only person playing with effort and energy. For this man to be sick, putting up 30-something. He could have just gave up. When you see on the sideline, he wanted to stay in the game in the fourth quarter. And it, and it, was, already, it was already over with. Because he felt that they, you know, they can come back. But it was over with. You got people scared. That's why the comments that he made, I don't blame him. The team should look at this and be like, oh, my God, we need to play better than this because I know they can. It was just awful from jump. They got it back close, and they just blew it. Like, it was just awful. And um, like I said, man, I'm, pretty, I'm pissed off because, like I said, I'm a diehard Lakers fan, if you guys don't know. You know, I don't stress this. I'm a diehard Lakers fan. Kobe Bryant is my favorite player. They cannot, I don't want them to go out like this, you know. Will it be an upset? No, it can't be no upset because a lot of people already said the Denver Nuggets probably could beat the Lakers, you know. But for them to have them two bigs, they should be dominating. So I think next game, they're going to give it to them. I think Powell is going to step up. Bynum is going to step up, even though they're going to double team him. And don't even know he has 16 rebounds. That's great. That's cool. But come on, man. You can you, you are you gonna tell me a rookie and JaVel McGee, the goofy motherfucker from Denver, I mean from Washington, can really stop you? And then the thing is, Sessions, I don't understand Sessions because it's like he don't even attack like he should. It's like he's scared. So I don't even I don't even know, man. I just hope I think our test is gonna Make this team. I think our test is going to help out in game seven. He may get 14, 18 points. And his defense, I know he's going to play better. He's going to bring some something to that team that they need, that energy. Because if it looked like um, game five in L.A., all the crowd wasn't in it, all dark and gloomy and shit, then I don't know, man. But y'all, I know this is a long video. Y'all might look at it. Y'all might not look at it. I don't know. But I'm just hated because last night really pissed me off. It just made me. Did I think LA was can win a championship? No. As much as I love them, no. But damn, at least play like a like you want to win a championship. Like you want to beat OKC. Like you want to beat the Spurs or whoever they have to face in the Western Conference Finals. I mean, it's getting to the point where I don't even think they can make it. To be honest with you, to the West Conference Final. But man, y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Comment, subscribe, like, favorite, do all that good shit. If not, oh well. I still got love for you. Peace. He never heard of you. I'm here now. You old news. Nursing home rappers. Who the hell is hyping dudes? Ten years plus without one hit. It's time to change your hustle up. It's time to go legit. I'm three years strong, my buzz big as precious The only thing I'm thinking about is Benz, Beam, Alexis When should I cop? Nah, fuck them all I'd rather hop up in that Chevy right above the law These niggas mad, because I'm about my business If you ain't got your paper up, the conversation's finished I'm busy counting money, plotting my next move Allergic to the bullshit, don't know how to lose I'm drifting all black, somebody must have died